All this extreme festival action is proudly brought to you by Astron Energy, Volkswagen Motorsport, Double Up Tires, and Investchem Chemical Logistics. Welcome to Pretoria, the capital city of South Africa and the home of the Union Buildings. Also known as the Jacaranda City, it is fantastic to see that uh, we get an opportunity to visit it on numerous occasions on the Extreme Festival. And just west of the city is the home of the Extreme Festival of Motorsport, and that is the Swatkops International Raceway. We head out there for the third round of the Extreme Festival of 2024. k circuit is ready to go and Swatkops always has a massive following in terms of the fan base that comes out and we're expecting all of them to be here for this weekend's third round of the national championships of the Extreme Festival. We start things off with the Rookie Cup from Volkswagen Motorsport. And pretty self-explanatory, it's the Rookie Cup being youngsters coming from karting getting a chance from Volkswagen Motorsport to step up into saloon cars and see if this is the route they want to go for their motorsport careers. At the front end, Divian Nadu has been the dominant factor so far for the last two races. Let's see what he can do now. He's on the front row with Jaden Hursen as the lights are about to go out. And oh, the whole front row looks like they might have stalled. Yeah, Hursen and Nadu definitely not getting the start they want. He's given a chance now, possibly there to judge Bertolt to squeeze up. He's up in the second place. Josh Moore's in third. And is it a Zia Khan out front by the looks of it? So uh, chopping and changing, eventually getting through. No, we've got uh, the 98 of uh, Hursen fighting hard on the inside of Bertolt, trying to close down on Divian Nadu. Nadu has just been able to hang in there. But, oh, I love it when the two rookies get together. A little bit of rubbing's racing there. Bertolt finding a way on the inside line now of Hurston. Can he find a way past? Yes, he can. Up into second place and starts to hunt down the leader. So it's Judd Bertolt versus Divian Nadu as they come out of turn eight, trying to get through. And he's found a way past. He's found a way through to the lead. And as they come out of turn two, he's at the front. So it's Bertolt now from Nadu. Nadu side by side with the hard-charging Jaden Hurston. The two of them going to fight for second place as Bertolt comes across the line for his first victory. What a run there to the line for the youngster and certainly a man to watch out for, particularly at SWAT Corps by the looks of things. Let's get confirmation of those results. It is Judd Bertolt from Divian Nadu, Jaden Hurston ahead of Josh Moore, Vizier Khan down in fifth place, and Coach Daniel there in sixth. Judd Bertolt, a happy man, and looks like Dad is happy as well. Well done. Let's catch up with him. So I started third, um, beginning Jaden, I think, I don't know what happened when he started, but I had to go around the outside on the grass. Then Divian left a bit too much space on the outside when he was trying to defend, so I just managed to squeeze past him. Matty Merton having a quick chat there, one of the other coaches with Jaden Hurston, picking up on a few things that he thought he might have got wrong. And of course, Daniel would have picked up from inside the car on a few little mistakes that could have happened out there with some of these youngsters involved in the Rookie Cup. They're about to make their way out for the second race of the day. And let's see whether or not that front row can sort themselves out. Lights are on as they go off. Do we get a better start? We do, but a slightly better start. Looks like it might have been a bit of a jump start there as well. We'll keep an eye on that as they head down towards turn two. Judd Bertold up in the second place. It looks like by the, yeah, at this stage, it's the 98 car out front. So uh, uh, positions resumed as what we've normally seen. But uh, really some pressure from Bertolt onto the leader. And in fact, too much pressure. Puts himself under a little bit of an issue and he gets out of shape into turn five. So Bertolt, a little bit out of shape, trying to find a way through there on Naidu. Naidu had the door shut. He couldn't find a way past. It's now moving up into third place. Great drive from Jaden Hurston recovering. After it didn't look like it went his way. Uzi Khan running off the line and onto the dirty stuff. That's not what you want to do. Not with Bertolt. Race one winner on your tail. He's going to make you pay. And that's exactly what he does into turn one. So Bertolt sneaks up on the inside of Azir Khan. Azir Khan down to fourth place. Divian Nadu leads things out on the final lap, heading to the checkered flag. He's going to get the victory, but looking at the timesheets, looks like both him and Kherson have been given penalties. Divian Nadu there for driver conduct and Kherson for a jump start, which is going to drop them down slightly, give Bertolt the win. Nadu second, Azir Khan third, and Josh Moore fourth. And Jaden Kherson all the way down in sixth place after that jump start. Let's catch up now with Josh Moore. I call it P5, P4, sorry, and um, race one went really well. I started P4, went up to P2, and then dropped back to P4, unfortunately. And um, big thanks to BBW, Axles, Fleet Dynamics, and Puma South Africa, and Volkswagen Motorsport. Looking at the championship after the third round, it's three points in it between Naidu and Bertold. Bertold moving up ahead of Jaden Quisson. Josh Moore just behind that as well. Three points adrift again. And Azir Khan with some work to do at the next round. Who will get pole position in the Astron Energy Polo Cup? After the break, we'll find out. <laughs> 